Hi everybody! What a timely conclusion to such a fun project! I apologize for my lapse in updating anyone who has been following this. My inspiration was unfortunately intermittent. I began this project building an Altair 8800 emulator about this time two years ago. I had just completed a fun educational project building a simple computer with TTL chips. The more than a dozen interlocking breadboards were fun to assemble. I especially enjoyed finding ways to route the many wires as neatly as possible. My inspiration came from watching YouTuber Ben Eater's videos. I wasn't the only one. This project reignited something I've always wanted to do, scratch build an 8-bit computer. Ideally it would be something with blinking lights, but I would settle for a keypad system similar to the Kim 1. When I was in high school, Intel donated some 8080 kits which contained most of the required chips. It also contained this manual. I studied it and drew schematics for the computer I hoped to one day build. But computers need power supplies and NAND gates and crystal oscillators and resistors and capacitors and sockets and edge connectors, let alone having the tools and chemicals to etch my own PCBs. This was way before Eagle and JLC PCB. I can't even say that without hearing the voice of YouTuber Great Scott. Scratch building an Altair would take many additional support components something that my high school self could not afford. I know this prepared me for a very satisfying career in technology and I'm happy now to have the free time and a little bit of disposable income to scratch this itch. I'm still looking for an Altair, MSI, PDP, Kim1, or other vintage 8-bit computer, one that isn't going to set me back several years worth of allowance. While I've been waiting, I purchased GameMaker Studio 1.4 during the Humble Bundle. I've completed a few tutorials with it and realized I could finally build an Altair emulator. Check out my Part 1 video, link in the description below, for more about that. In this video, I'm pleased to announce that Jure Emulator version 16 has almost every one of the features I mentioned in the previous video. However, I believe I've reached a conclusion with the current version. It does everything I wanted, but sadly the performance is rather poor. It implements T-State and Machine Cycle emulation of an 8080 processor with an Altair 8800 inspired user interface. While working on this version, I discovered some bugs in my processor microcode, but those are now resolved. It still has 64K RAM, and it still only simulates ROM, but it can now be programmed with an Intel hex file. It still emulates 256 separate input and output ports with indicators to indicate when the processor has been read or written to a port. The front panel sense switches can be read with an input instruction and an 8251 serial I.O. chip is supported at the control register level. The GitHub repository contains the source code, hex file, and program listing for a simple serial monitor that includes help, dump, edit, and go, or execute, commands. This whole project included gaining a much better understanding of working in YoYo Games Game Maker Studio 1.4. I don't own version 2 and have not tested my source code in that environment. Well, there's a lot to cover in the following videos. I'll begin by reviewing the GameMaker Studio project itself, and then I'll conclude with the discussion of the 8080 processor emulation and other hardware components. I'll wrap things up with a look at the serial terminal and the monitor software. Happy New Year, and as always, Thanks for watching.